guys. Got the our turf type top fescue here this morning. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. We got our Toro uh, 22 inch self propel. It's got some sharp blades on it. This has been, I don't know if you can see it good, but this grass has been mowed five days ago and it needs to be mowed again. We're mowing about 3.5 inches right now. Easy. Uh, got a few of the droughts coming uh, a little bit. It's 90 today. I haven't had any rain in a while. And there's really no rain in the forecast for the next week. So this is our test patch here at uh, Fisherman Landscape South. And I keep this right. I know the others are right. But uh, we got some pests coming up. Fungus is coming. I think it's already here. I've seen it in uh, properties here in the Piedmont Triad of uh, North Carolina. So, let's fire this, this Toro up and uh, hopefully it'll behave. It's been running good. Something sounds amiss when the engine stops and we let go of it real fast. We just let go of it easy, it seems to not. But, uh, let's check it out right quick. We're gonna make a couple strips, a couple stripes, passes. you kind of slow, you know, I'm not trying to set any world records out there on the, in the field and get a good cut. We kind of, there's a, a mowing pace and there's a traversing pace on these machines. So what, I'd like to go a little slow. two, three days ago. Let me move the camera here. Let's see. Get out of the way. Let's see. Where we haven't mowed, where we have mowed. Can't tell much. It's cutting pretty good. Tips are the tips of the grass. Look, like they're getting cut nicely. They're not uh, torn off. They're actually sheared off, I guess you'd call it. Uh, but every once in a while, I might see one blade sticking up higher than the mowing setting, and I don't understand that too much. But uh, let's finish up on this mow here, on this little side of it. I tell you, it's really green, huh? Right back here. Oh, oh, oh. Once in a while that cord likes to get hung around that weight. It's hung up. Size, so we're kind of mulching this patch right here and uh, it's been uh, fertilized twice pre-emergence been added lime was added in January uh, on the schedule is a uh, fungicide application and fall aeration and overseed with slow released starter fertilizer made as soon as uh, October 1st weather permitting um, uh, yeah looking good but I uh, just wanted to make a little video it's been a while here on YouTube and 
We're still in business here, Cushman Landscape of South. I hope you can see me okay right there. Before I sign out, I don't want to do it without really seeing me too good. Yeah. Right at that post. We could just this Toro, this uh, 52 inch that zero turn we use, but this little thing goes in the here and there and just been a good machine for the best small walk behinds I bought to date. Uh, the next one's going to be the $1,200 job, 30 inch walk behind. And we have a stand on 52 inch deck uh, in the business plan to be purchased real soon. I frankly need two of them. We just uh, did a demo of the right 52 inch stander X. Great machine. May demo one more. May demo the gray one. Uh, may just buy the right. I don't know. But uh, appreciate you guys for checking it out. I'll make another video soon.